in a chemical type, which okay. we don't recommend, but if you do still choose, or the anesthesia, mm -hmm. and then still that four to six weeks okay. after okay. to detoxify the liver. So. And then we also recommend uh, doubling the garlic, the garlic daily again, which again, you kind of see the correlation between the heartworm um, prevention and the flea and tick. So. Um, and along with that, right back with the neem spray um, as a you know a daily, and then the neem dip um, for every six weeks is recommended for that as well. So um, now I'd like to kind of jump into the probably the biggest topic is the allergy um, or allergy related symptoms. Um, one of the things with allergies that I'm going to talk more about the allergy symptoms versus allergies. Um, based off of, of what I, the way I understand is most pets very rarely have an allergy. They have an allergy related or allergy symptom or symptoms that appear to be allergy and, and what typically it is is where they're trying to eliminate waste from their biggest eliminatory uh, organ which is their skin. Mm -hmm. um, the others are their liver and their kidneys um, which affect their urinary tract and their, um, the, uh, their digestive tract. So, but the, the biggest thing there when, I, when we look at it is um, typically if they've been bombarded with oh, toxins and what, what are toxins in today's world, uh, we can, everything, yeah, everything that's not natural, and you're right, everything that's not natural to the pet, um, and they have a harder time um, ridding themselves of toxins versus humans, um, and we can become toxic ourselves, but we sweat a little bit, we have a little bit different of a, of a body makeup than the pet does. The pet pretty much just has the ability to pant. Um, and, and when those toxins try to come out of the pet, they come out and we think they're, or they're a, oh, it's an allergy. And, um, and, and they can, you know, they, they make, make the dog scratch, itch, bite, have hot spots, um, you know, rashes, all those type of things. And typically, the pet then is either put on like a steroid um, and or, um, or, get, or, or say go to an over-the-counter type um, antihistamine, um, which is all, again, kind of contributes to the same problem. So back to your question about, you know, the hosting of the tick and preventing it, we then would, we would really look at saying, okay, the first step, if a pet is exhibiting those allergy type symptoms, um, and again, with proper you know, veterinary diagnosis, if, I mean, and it's nice if you can work with a holistic vet, and, and I know sometimes they can be hard to find, but they kind of understand the whole, the whole principle uh, behind it, and, and we'll look at a non-traditional approach and say that it's not necessarily a bad thing. The one big thing with, with like a detoxification or, or any of our protocols is just being consistent with it. But what we would recommend in that case is going to say, I would say go with a detoxification or detoxifier. And then what this is is a homeopathic detoxifier. Um, and it induces, it induces a detoxification. Um, and at the same time, I would also, we also would then, when, I, when we hear allergies, this we so talk about diet. If we're gonna if we're gonna go get down to the base of all this, then we start looking at the diet. Um, are you on a good quality, you know, food that's free of the wheat, the soybeans, um, and uh, and glutens and, and those type of things in the corn. So we, we look at that, and, and one of the other things that people kind of for, tend to forget is treats. If it's a wheat or a flour based, you know, um, treat that might be the culprit right there because if, if, if your pets are like most, they go out, they come in, they get a treat. And if it's not a good quality treat, that can be the, the culprit within itself. Um, one of the other things that becomes pretty evident is about this time of the year, people start using the chemical pest controls. And those chemicals go in, but they don't come out. And when they do try to come out, they come out again through that largest eliminatory yeah. organ, skin, and they start the ears, the eyes, the nose, the itching, the bite, the scratch, and the whole nine yards start. And it all starts about this time. The unfortunate part about um, that cycle is every year that that dog's been exposed to those, or the cat, the, the pets have been exposed to that type of lifestyle, it buries deeper into the pet. So what happens is when we go with the detoxification and we start the protocol. And the detoxification is basically where we're going to try to, you know, filter out the kidneys and the liver. It's kind of like a, 
the example is, is given in the book. Um, it's like you change the oil in your car every 3,000 miles, but you never clean out the crankcase. The sludge still stays in the crankcase, and then the sludge just kind of keeps working itself around on the oil, and, and still the oil's never clean. So to clean that all up, that's where the detoxification would come into play. And then the detoxification would last, it's a um, two-week process of drops, and that's um, two to four drops regardless of body weight, given 15 minutes after the last feeding or, or at your bedtime, so the pets don't always necessarily go to, go to bed the same time we do. Um, and that, that process can last up to eight weeks long. The interesting part about that is through that process, you're going to go through what we call a curative response where the body's preparing itself to heal. And then what can happen through that curative response is that those symptoms can actually appear to get worse. And when those symptoms appear to get worse, a lot of people panic. Yeah. If, if, it's, if it appears to be a chronic problem where it lasts more than, I think, two to four days, then it's something you may want to have to address with your veterinarian. But very rarely does it last that long. But the, problem, the thing is that what you want to see those problems get worse. Because when they get worse, it's preparing itself to heal and it's preparing itself to get better. Um, and then, then that's where the staple supplements come into play, which would be the Super C, the Garlic Daily, and the Mega Pet Daily. And, and, and these supplements are actually designed to help fuel um, the body and to help strengthen the immune system to get the pet back on um, a track and back as healthy as it was when it was first born and before it was exposed to all the, the, the toxins that you know they have been exposed to. So, um, one of the other things with with that with um, that can kind of contribute to a uh, an allergy related type symptom is the way the pet metabolizes its protein. Um, it can actually what they call urea, um, and and also yeast can cause a lot of problems with a pet. Um, the Urea, uh, urea is actually the waste product from the metabolism or the, the protein when it's metabolized and that can actually, a whole list of things can, can come, um, come about as far as symptoms. Um, it, can, can actually, it can actually cause allergies um, to yeast, um, beef, pork and byproducts. Um, it causes ear infections, eye infections and upper respiratory problems. Um, it, can, it, can, it can create excess licking and uh, chewing of the paws, um, itchy skin, uh, foul smelling breath, um, and or stool. So that the way the pet does metabolize, you know, and, and, and the waste that's uh, created can actually cause that and, and that then appears to be an allergy or an allergy, what I call an allergy related symptom. And we actually then if it's treated as an allergy, we never really got to the root of the problem. And the root of the problem is where we take care of that is where we would go back to the detoxification and to induce a homeopathic detoxification process. So, um, We do have for those, um, have, have any of you ever given your dog a Benadryl? Good. <laughs> All healthy people here, I like that. Um, the, the allergy free is actually a natural antihistamine, and that would what would, we would use to replace like those over the counter type um, medications. Um, and then the yucca intensive is actually. An,